How do you know you got a bad catalytic converter and it's time to replace it? Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. How do you know your catalytic converter is failing and it's time to replace it? The first common sign is going to be the check engine light turning on and it's going to trigger some sort of catalytic converter codes. For example, you may get P0420 code, catalytic efficiency below threshold. If you're getting this code, there's a very high chance that your catalytic converter is failing. Also, if you have extremely high mileage, for example, 160,000 miles or so, most likely it is time to change that catalytic converter anyways. So when your catalytic converter, let's just say the efficiency falls below a certain percentage, let's just say 3 to maybe 5%, it's going to definitely trigger that check engine light and trigger those codes again. When the catalytic converter is failing in the initial stage, you may not notice that much engine performance issue. However, if you continue to drive like this and later down the road and the catalytic converter becomes extremely clogged, then you're going to notice performance issues. The first common problem that you're going to run into is going to be low power. So if the catalytic converter is extremely clogged, then your engine cannot exhale the exhaust fume. When this happens, this is going to cause the exhaust fume to back up into the engine and this can cause the engine to overheat. So when you have low power due to a clogged catalytic converter, you're going to notice that the vehicle is going to struggle taking off from a stop light. And you're also going to notice that the vehicle is going to struggle going uphill. When a catalytic converter is no longer working efficient due to its material breaking down, Driver's gonna notice some sort of rotten egg smell. In other words, you'll be smelling sulfur. So if you're getting the check engine light and that P0420 code or P0421 or P0422, etc., and you're getting that sulfur smell or rotten egg smell, maybe it's time to check the material or this honeycomb structure inside the catalytic converter to see if it failed or not. So the material inside the catalytic converter or the honeycomb structure should be solid. And when it's failing, the material starts start to become loose and it falls apart. And if you suspect that the material is coming apart and let's just say on your vehicle, it is easy to remove the catalytic converter simply because it's bolted on, then go ahead and remove it. Once you remove the catalytic converter, look on the inside. Basically what are you looking for is the honeycomb structure. If the honeycomb structure looks like it came apart, then it's definitely time to change that catalytic converter. If you suspect that your catalytic converter is clogged, buy yourself an infrared thermometer and this is the quickest way to check if it's clogged or not. The first thing you want to do is you want to warm up your engine for about 10 minutes or so and with the engine running, go ahead and check the temperature on the front end and afterward check the temperature on the back end. If the temperature on the back end is lower than the front end, then you know this catalytic converter here is clogged. The most accurate way to check if you got a bad catalytic converter or not is to conduct a back pressure test. To conduct a back pressure test, you have to remove the oxygen sensor and you're gonna connect the back pressure test gauge onto it. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna compare it to manufacturer specification to see if it's within specs. But what if you have extremely low mileage, for example, let's just say only about 70,000 miles and you're already getting that P0420 code, what can be the cause? The most common cause is going to be an engine misfire. Let's just say, for example, let's just say you have a, a V8, an eight-cylinder engine. And let's just say you have a mild misfire due to one of the cylinder misfiring. If you drive like this for too long, it's going to cause all the excess fuel to go inside your catalytic converter and it's going to cause it to burn inside and it's going to cause your catalytic converter to become extremely hot. If this lingers too long, your catalytic converter is going to start to glow red and eventually fail. The next common cause is going to be some sort of contamination entering the exhaust system. For example, if oil or antifreeze finds its way into the exhaust system due to maybe some sort of engine problem, that's going to cause your catalytic uh, converter to uh, prematurely fail. The next common problem is going to be a very rich condition or a lean condition caused by failing oxygen sensor. If you don't replace those oxygen sensor when it is bad, again, it's going to cause a rich condition and a lean condition, and again, it's going to cause that 
catalytic converter to prematurely fail again. The next common problem is going to be bad spark plugs and bad fuel injector. Make sure to take care of these two parts. Let's just say you have a spark plug that is failing and is no longer working properly. Again, that's going to cause unburnt gasoline to enter the combustion chamber. Also, if you have bad fuel injector, let's just say it is stuck open. Again, it's going to dump a lot of fuel into the exhaust system and cause it to prematurely fail. I bet you're probably wondering, can you fix the catalytic converter? And their answer is, very unlikely. If the material is already falling apart already inside the catalytic converter, there's no way you can fix that issue. Just like most people, I have tried some experiment out there such as using paint thinner, such as using soap and water, engine degreaser. I have tried it all and guess what? I have never had success of fixing that catalytic converter. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching. Subscribe to Top 5 Auto Repairs.